All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about a company named Fidlock. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure that little bell icon or exercise is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right into the video, we're talking about a company called Fidlock. And Fidlock makes a really cool system that's essentially a cageless mounting system. And as you can tell, pretty much that is what sticks on your bike right there. And then you have your extra water bottle here. And on the water bottle, you can see on the bottom there, you've got a little special mount there on this specific water bottle. And with that being the case, both of these two magnetically connect together. So these guys, it's more than just magnets. So you can tell they have a little knob on the end of these and there's kind of a curved thing there. On here, there's little latches on the actual water bottle itself. This pretty much it connects in two ways. When one, of course, magnetic, two, it actually clips in. So that is a very solid attachment point. Like you are not going to rip the water bottle off of that cage. And it stays on there all the time. So maybe you're like, how do you get it off? You can't, you can't pull it off. How are you supposed to get it off? All you got to do is give it a little, little bit of a twist and it pops right off of there. Super easy. And then when you're ready to put it back on, it just clips right back onto the mount. What we're going to be doing today, we're going to be installing this on my wife's bike. And we'll talk about a little bit more about why we're putting it on my wife's bike and, and why both me and my wife think this is a great product for a beginner cyclist. So let's go ahead and we'll move over here. So right now we have just a standard water bottle cage on here. We're going to move that one back to our back mounts here. And we're going to try and mount this bed lock right here on the, right here on the down tube. And that should be a perfect spot for her. So let's move a little closer to the bike. Let's talk about how it works. Okay, so over at the bike now. So right here, as you can tell, it's your standard cage, standard water well, pretty much you find on 99% of bikes out there. It's gonna be something just like this. So with this being the case, obviously it's just a aluminum cage on this one, which is your standard specialized water bottle. Slides in, nice and easy. It's secure, it's not gonna fall out. So, you know, no problem at all. What me and my wife talked about while we were at Sea Otter, we talked to Fidlock and we were like, hey, you know, that would be a great thing for a beginner cyclist. And that's my wife is, she's a beginner cyclist. Sorry, honey, you're a beginner cyclist, but that's what she is. And for a beginner cyclist, it's very difficult to get your water bottle out while you're riding. While you're on your bike, you're riding down the road, you need some water. As a beginner cyclist, your option is to stop, get off your bike, get your water bottle, drink your water, put it back down and keep on riding after that point. But you have to do that stopping motion, which takes time. Versus some of us that are a little more experienced, this net, this motion, just taking a water bottle out, taking a drink water on the bike, putting it back in, that's just second nature to us. We just do that and it works. It's perfectly fine. But for a beginner, that motion right there of taking a hand off your handlebar, trying to aim for your water bottle, trying to pull it out. You're pulling in a different direction. So you're riding your bike, you're pulling it out, you pull it out. You got your drink, you're still riding with one hand, trying to look where you're going, and then you get it on, and then you have to somehow aim it back into this cage without without taking your eyes off the road, and you're scared you're gonna crash the whole time. So there's a lot of factors in that for a beginner cyclist that yeah, it can be definitely scary to put this back in sometimes. And I understand that, and my wife has had that conversation with a few other cyclists that that's kinda of scary for someone who's new at cycling, doesn't feel super balanced, doesn't feel super confident on the bike, that's a possibility. So that's where the Fitlock mounting system we feel comes in and makes a difference and can make that super simple for a beginner cyclist. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, take off her old water bottle cage. We're gonna move it to these back mounts here. That way she can still carry some normal water bottle if she needs to, and she can carry it along with Fitlock water bottle as well. So she'll have two mounting points on there, which can nice little button, nice little upgrade for her. She does have a bike, she does have a mini pump mounted on the bike. So we'll see if the Fitlock mounting pad goes on with that. It should, shouldn't have a problem, but we'll get that all set. And we'll get the bike looking good. And we'll see if this Fitlock mounting system makes a difference, makes it easier for her to get that water bottle on and off while she's riding. So now that we got that guy all fixed, fits the standard water bottle there for standard 21 ounce water bottle. So we're good there. Don't have to worry about that one being the case. Now let's take a look at our Fitlock cage here. So of course you have the bottle here inside the bottle. Should be all our instructions. If you need to look at some instructions, bolts on this, I think are a three. Yep, all right. So we need a three for our new bolts here. And I'll show you why you have to use these bolts in a second. You do not need the nut, so you can get rid of the nut if you would like. Let's take our sticker off. So the sticker pretty much just says to use only the delivered screws. And let me take the sticker off and I'll show you why you have to use the specific screws. Okay, so you have to use these screws here that come with the actual mount. So as you can tell, it's just kind of your nice rounded head there versus our standard guy. So you can see the difference there. So the regular screw that comes with it sticks up, 
this one does not. Now if you have some that look like this guy, nice little thin, smooth, thin headed guy, if you have some of those holding your water bottle cage now, you need to make sure there's not a washer under there if you want to try and reuse them. Most of them are going to have a washer underneath here. That washer sticks it up too far and causes problems. So just use the ones that come with it. It just makes it simpler. Just use them. Don't cause any problems. You're good to go. That one doesn't even go down in the hole there. The water bottle cage, go, the water bottle actually mounts all the way down to the bottom here. So if it sticks up at all, it's going to scratch up your water bottle, cause problems, not going to latch all the way. Versus our guy that's included, it's totally underneath there. So got to use the bolts that come with it and you'll be set. And one of the nice things, it does come with slots, so you can move your water bottle cage up and down some, which is nice. And we need to see if we can get our pump mounted back under here, which I think should work. So let's go ahead and throw this guy back on here. I, was, I forgot she has a second set of, uh, she has three mounts here to move the water bottle up and down. I think we're gonna be good on this bottom one though. All right, and we just gotta throw these in there. If you don't have grease already on, already in the threads, Make sure you put grease in the threads, okay? Once you have it mounted, oh yeah. Here we go. Just like that. Super simple, that actually works too. So you have two water bottles now. That one you can just pop right out. And Fidlock guy you can pop right out. Does the pump get in the way? A little bit, okay. So lower the pump just a hair so we can twist it off a little bit easier because it does hit just a hair i would like it to be as easy as possible for her and that's kind of the whole point right move the pump all the way down clip our guy on oh there we go no interference at all perfect there we go you got a new fidlock water bottle installed on here so i mean it moves a little bit but there's no shot this is going to come off. Okay, the other is. If you hit it wrong, it's going to come off. But for the most part, it's not going to move at all. It's not going to budge. So there we go. There it is installed. So, I mean, that's definitely doing that is a whole lot easier. That's a whole lot easier than trying to get a water bottle out of a cage and back in. And the nice thing is you're riding around. You get it close. If you, I don't know if you saw that. But if you even get this, if you're riding around, you get this at least close to it. It's gonna stick and you can just bump it and it'll thunk, pop back in. So you can, you don't have to hit it exactly right in the cage every time. As long as you can get it close, it'll snap in for you. So yeah, so there's that guy right there. And what's cool, you take this off, it's pretty smooth, pretty sleek. You keep what, you know, it kind of gives you that clean look in there. If you didn't have a second water bottle cage or you had another fit block here, you'd have a pretty clean looking front triangle because you wouldn't have a bottle cage in there. So kind of neat. I'm just curious, just out of curiosity. Will this work in just a normal cage? Okay, so yeah, you can use a Fidlock water bottle in a normal cage too, that works. So I think that's gonna work really good for her. We'll have to see what she thinks when she gets home, but I think this is gonna work really good for her and help her feel more comfortable getting the water bottle in and out while she's out riding. And it looks really cool too. I mean, you can't argue with that. It looks really cool. It's got a dust, got a mud, mud and dust cover on there. So keeps it nice and clean. And then it's a, squirt bottle versus these that just open up and you just go. So a little bit different of a bottle, but I think she's going to like it. I think she's going to like it a lot. I think she's going to like this one a lot. And once this is loaded with water, I think it would be better. So I'm going to go try that. Let me go fill up some water on you real quick. I'll be right back. We'll try it with some water. Okay. So we got water in here. Oh, with water in there. That's solid. That's not going anywhere. And if we just it's a little bit different with water. All right, so that is the Fidlock Cageless Magnetic Mounting System. This is their Twist Model 590 and the bike base. So if you guys are interested in checking one of these out for yourselves, I'll have a link in the description down below. And of course, a big thanks to Fidlock for sending me out their bottle and their mounting system so I can try it out so you can see how it works for a beginner cyclist and share this cool, innovative product with you guys. It's definitely a nice, it's definitely a cool design, even for some of us that are more experienced. Just makes the bike look cleaner without a water bottle cage there sometimes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I love chatting with you guys. I love answering any questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.